Yo, yo, so it is a brand new week and we've got some pretty good ways to make some money right now. So let's jump into it in GTA Online. For our very first money method, we have the Armored Truck Free Mode event. This is probably one of the easiest ways to make money in GTA 5 Online right now. And it's beginner friendly as well, so that's obviously pretty dope. So the way that this one works is that at random, a blue blip is gonna appear on your map. And while that could be a whole bunch of different things, there's a chance that it'll be one of these armored trucks right here. I had to pull up some footage from a while back since I spent almost an hour looking for one this morning with no luck, so that's just freaking great. But if you you guys do happen to find one of these armored trucks all you want to do is throw a sticky bomb at the back doors of the truck in order to blow it up and once you do that a briefcase is going to drop from it just take out the guards that jump out of the truck and then press right on your d-pad to pick up the briefcase and just like that you made an easy fifty thousand dollars normally you're only going to make like twenty five thousand dollars from these armored trucks but this week it's on double money so you're definitely going to want to take advantage of this right now for our second money method we have the motor wars adversary mode this week it's also paying out double money which is definitely dope as hell to see the way you start up this one is by pressing start on your controller going online jobs play job rockstar created adversary modes and then just look for the motor wars adversary mode so the motor wars adversary mode is pretty similar to fortnite or if you're a man of culture PUBG. god i love that game anyway the reason why i'm comparing this gta adversary mode to battle royale games is because this mode is pretty close to that you and your team jump out of a cargo bob in the sky and once you land you've got to go around the map looking for some weapons and vehicles not to mention there's an area you have to stay inside of that shrinks the longer the match goes on and just like with fortnite or PUBG, you've got to battle it out to the death with everyone else the last team's standing wins the match obviously a big difference with this mode though is hence the name motor wars there's a big emphasis on vehicles here and that's mainly what you're going to be using in this mode the vehicles scattered around the map are either armored or weaponized and so those are going to definitely help you out here so for the match that i played there was five of us and only four teams meaning that one team was going to have two people and thank god because i happen to be the one with the teammate this made it a whole lot easier for us since there were a lot of vehicles with turrets only a passenger could take advantage of so me and bro would switch off on who would drive and who would be the one gunning it down so w teammate for that and in case I didn't do a good enough job of explaining this adversary mode for you guys this was a really fun adversary mode just like most other adversary modes are to be honest but anyway it was obvious who was gonna win here it was a 2v1v1v1 so of course we took that dub baby and we ended up making a little over ninety thousand dollars here so if you guys are looking to switch it up and maybe even have some friends to play with i'ma highly recommend checking out the motor wars adversary mode this week for our third money method we have this week's standard time trial this week you can find it over here at the power station and i'm gonna highly recommend using a motorcycle when doing these time trials because in my opinion they make it a whole lot easier. The one I used for this time trial was the Shinobi, which is one of my personal favorite motorcycles within all of GTA Online. It's really fast, has great handling, it's just an overall great bike that I would highly recommend picking up when you have enough. Anyway, once you make it over to the time trial, go ahead and drive into the purple time trial area and press right on your d-pad and start it up. Immediately after doing so, you want to open up your map and set a waypoint on this yellow dot right over here. Then just quit the time trial from your phone and pull a Yui to face the opposite direction. What I like to do here is get as much to the edge of the purple time trial area as possible while still being able to start it up. And once you're ready, just press right on your D-pad to start it up again. For this one, you're going to start off by just following the waypoint on your map. But once you get up to this point right here, you want to go off-road and cut through the grass and the railroad tracks right here as well. There's going to be two freeways right here, and the one you want to get on is the second one. So just be sure when going across, because it can be so easy for an NPC to run your ass over right here. And then you're just going to keep going down the freeway for a little bit up until you get to this part right here. You want to get off the road and just cut through these mountains right here until you make your way to the destination. A quick tip that I always give you guys for these time trials is to make sure you wheelie as much as you possibly can if you're using a motorcycle. By doing this, it's going to make you go so much faster than you normally would. If you don't know how to do this, just hold down your left stick while you're driving. You're going to want to do this on the freeway or just any straightaway as much as you can, trust me. Anyway, once you finally make it to the destination, you're going to make $101,000. If you finished the time trial but only made a few thousand dollars, that's because you did not beat the part time. There's a set time that says part time in the bottom right of your screen while doing a time trial, and in order to make the full amount, you need to make sure that you complete the time trial before you go over that part time. For our fourth money method, we have the Junk Energy Skydive. This is another great money method for beginners that I would highly recommend checking out, especially this week since they're currently paying out double money, which is sweet. So if you open up your map, you're going to find a white parachute icon. There's actually 10 of these scattered across the map that you're going to want to check out. Once you pull up to one of them, there's either going to be a Junk Energy branded parachute on the ground or a Junk Energy branded booth. You just want to walk over to either one of them and press right on your D-pad to start it up. And the actual skydive part is pretty straightforward. You just got to skydive through all of the checkpoints until you eventually land on the ground. However, while you're doing these, you want to make sure you do three important things. One, you obviously want to make sure that you go through all of the checkpoints. Two, make sure that you beat the part time while doing these junk energy skydives. This is exactly like the part time I just went over with the standard time trial. You just got to make sure you beat the skydive before you go over that set time. And three, you want to make an accurate landing. What this means is landing on your feet. If you fall over while landing or your character's kind of stumbling while he lands, it won't count as an accurate landing. So just make sure that you land correctly. If you can manage to complete all three of those tasks, you're going to get a gold medal once you finish the skydive along with $10,000. And like I said, there's 10 of these skydives on the map. So you're going to want to do all 
all 10 of them. From hearing that, you're probably thinking that you're going to make $100,000 for completing 10 skydives. However, you're also going to make another $100,000 for simply beating all 10 of them, and then another $100,000 for getting gold medals on all 10 of them, meaning you can make up to $300,000 with these skydives right here. The best part about these junk energy skydives is that they refresh every single day, meaning that if you beat all 10 of them today, you could come back tomorrow and do it all over again for another $300,000 and then again and again and again. So if you guys are looking for a break from the usual grind or just really need some money, then you'll definitely want to take advantage of these skydives this week. For our fifth money method, we have the Arena War series jobs again. This week, just like the past four, these are also paying out double money. Rockstar, I'm not trying to complain about double money events, but like, could you guys switch it up a bit? Thank you. Anyway, in order to start these up, you're going to want to press start, go to online, jobs, play job, Rockstar created Arena War, and then just pick from whichever Arena War series job that you want. I ended up revisiting wreck It 2, and while I'm not the biggest fan of these Arena War series jobs, I am a fan of racing games, and so I guess I like this one a little bit more than the other ones. Anyway, like I said, this one is a race, but unlike your standard race, this one has a bunch of obstacles and stuff in the way that are going to try to take you out. There's bombs on the track, these electric things you can go through, a big ass wall that goes up and blocks you, and so much more shit. And your goal while completing this race is to make it to the end without dying. For coming in at second place for this one, I made close to $15,000. For 15 laps, I was expecting a much higher payout, but fuck me, I guess. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. If you guys like these, go ahead and do them now. Let's just move on to the next one already. For our six money method, we have the HSW time trial. You can find it on your map pretty close to the standard time trial from earlier. Now, while this one is pretty similar to the standard time trial, there's one major difference here, and that is is that this one is only available on next-gen consoles. So if you happen to be on an Xbox One, PlayStation 4, or on a PC, then unfortunately you will not have access to this money method. But if you're on an Xbox Series X or S or a PlayStation 5 such as myself, then you guys will have access to this one. Anyway, for my next-gen players, you guys are going to need to own an HSW vehicle in order to complete these HSW time trials. And my recommendation is, as always, the Hakuchi Drag. Yes, you heard that right. I prefer motorcycles all day every day for these time trials, and the Hakuchi Drag is the only HSW motorcycle, so that's a no-brainer for me. Anyway, once you make it over to the time trial, go ahead and drive into the purple time trial area and press right on your d-pad to start it up. Immediately after doing so, you want to open up your map and set a waypoint on this yellow dot right over here. Then just quit the time trial from your phone and pull a Yui to face the opposite direction. And like I said earlier, I like to get as much to the edge of the purple time trial area as possible while still being able to start it up. And once you're ready, just press right on your d-pad to start it up again. Now, just like I tell you guys every single week, these HSW time trials are super easy to complete. HSW vehicles in general are hella fast, and so you should be able to beat these time trials without any issues. If you guys ended up choosing the Hakuchi drag just like I recommended, you cannot wheelie with this bike like you can with the other ones. So instead of leaning your left stick downwards, you're going to want to lean it upwards. This is going to make your character lean forward and when they do this on the Hakuchi drag, it makes them go a whole lot faster than it already does. Anyway, once you finally manage to beat this week's HSW time trial, you're going to make $252,000. Definitely a really easy way to make money this week, you guys. For our final money method, we have sell missions for the Acid Lab. This week, you're going to make double what you normally do for selling product and this is without a doubt the best way to make money this week. In order to get started, you're going to need to own a Brocade 6x6, and please do not buy it off of Warstock Cash and Carry for $1.5 million. Instead, go to this R on your map out in Sandy Shores to get started with the first of six first dose missions if you still haven't done them yet. You're going to end up stealing the Brocade 6x6 in the sixth mission, and once you bring it back to the free shop, you just need to pay much $750,000 to set up the actual business. Now, this is a passive business, meaning all you have to do is come on over to Mutt inside of your Acid Lab and pay him $60,000 for supplies, and that's pretty much it. I mean, you do have to come back and check on it every so often to see if you need to buy more supplies, but other than that, this is pretty much it. A few hours later, once your stock is full, that's when it's time to sell. So my Acid Lab is fully maxed out, and I changed the product name, so I'm making the most money possible with it, which is $703,840. Normally, I would recommend you guys go into a full public lobby in order for you guys to make the most money possible with the high demand bonus, but at the time of recording this video, it's currently bugged. So in other words, I made no money. But anyway, in order to get started, you're going to want to come over to this area inside of your Acid Lab and press right on your D-pad. This is how you start up a cell mission. The one that I had to do is the police raid cell mission. For this one, it sent me over to this random ass parking lot. And here you just want to shoot the first undercover cop car that you see inside of the parking lot. And after doing that, I just had to go hide somewhere and lose the cops. Once they were off my ass, I had to take it to the new drop off location on my map. Once I got there, I just had to leave the bike inside of this trailer right here and then get the hell out of there. And boom, easy $700,000 right there. So if you guys want to make hella passive income this week, definitely be sure to take advantage of the acid lab. Now guys, real quick, I just want to say thank you all so much for $50,000.
8,000 subscribers. This past summer was absolutely insane, man. Like we started off June with 8,000 subscribers and here we are about three months later with 50, like goddamn. I just really wanna say thank you. Like I really, really appreciate you guys for everything, man. And I haven't done one yet on the channel, but I'm gonna be doing a Q&A pretty soon in honor of 50K. It'll be pretty chill. I'll just have some gameplay on while I answer some questions. So if you guys wanna ask me anything, be sure to leave a question on my 50K community post. Anyway, that is it for this week's weekly money methods guide. You guys are definitely gonna wanna take advantage of the asset lab right now. Like you guys saw how good it is right now. I've actually got a guide going over everything you might wanna know about it. So if that sounds interesting, then you'll definitely wanna click on the video on screen right now.